Hey guys, welcome to uh, my first post-surgery video. Uh, just going to throw it out there right away, a uh, little disclaimer. I am on some pretty heavy painkillers, um, two weeks out of surgery. Surgery did go well, um, but if I say something that just doesn't seem to make sense, um, chances are I won't catch it when I edit this video since I'm going to still be on painkillers. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so the surgery uh, did go well from what the doctors told me, you know, really won't know truly how well it went until I get back on a prosthetic and start walking. Uh, just give you a little bit of info of everything that went down. Uh, I believe in my previous video I mentioned that, you know, they're going to do this thing called the Ertl procedure where they bridge my fibula and my tibia together with a piece of bone. Uh, they did do that. Uh, they also thought they were going to have to do this flap surgery where they took a piece of my upper thigh and used that tissue muscle um, for my stump so I would have enough but turns out that I actually did have enough tissue down there um, so they didn't need to do that uh, you know, and I had a bone infection so they cut out all the bad bone um, and by not having to do the flap now my healing uh, time or recovery time has been reduced uh, I believe from you know three months down to two months so yay to that <laughs> and then uh, a little bit about the hospital stay so I stayed at Penn Presbyterian here in Philly um, I was lucky enough that uh, my sister flew out, uh, the same sister that's been there for all of my surgeries. You know, my surgeries have always been in Milwaukee, and, you know, she lives in Milwaukee, so she came out, um, which, amazing sister, she's my favorite. Maybe I shouldn't say that since I have, you know, three sisters total. Um, but they'll probably never see this anyway, so, yeah, so she's my favorite. She came uh, for the surgery, again, amazing. And, uh, you know, surgery, I think, took about six hours. And they, you know, was in the recovery room for a little while, which is crazy. Uh, the girl next to me actually had a stroke, um, which I guess that happens um, while she's in recovery. Uh, so that was very interesting to see here. Never experienced that before. Uh, really hope that she's, you know, doing well. Uh, and then they, you know, wheeled me to uh, my room. And uh, the the nurse, which the nurse, he was absolutely amazing, um, super nice guy. First thing he says is, I need to apologize in advance, they charge here for TV. It's like, what? Who charges for TV at a hospital? Why wouldn't they just work that in the bill? But, sure enough, $7.50 a day for TV. <laughs> just blew my mind. So, yeah, I didn't have TV while I was there. Uh, and then, um, you know, it was like 11 o'clock at night go to try to turn my light on or control my lights and hopefully you know you people watching have not had to stay in the hospital before uh, but all the hospitals I've stayed in you know I've stayed in several between you know Wisconsin and Colorado they have a, a like a remote or thing that's next to you in your bed and it's got the nurse call button and then it controls the tv which mine obviously you know I had to pay so I, that's no good and then it has a little light switch, so you can control the lights. Yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, the light was operated by a pull cord, so there was a wall switch to turn on one light, and then a pull cord to turn on the light right above me. And so the nurse quickly calls maintenance. They come grab the light. Um, they're, it, they're very fast. They come back in about 20 minutes later with a pull cord. Uh, fortunately, the pull cord didn't reach my bed. <laughs> and when the maintenance people installed it, they're like, yeah, don't pull too hard because it might come down on you. So, yeah, that that happened. <laughs> uh, never experienced that before. So, yeah, and then uh, the pull cord didn't reach my bed, so the nurse had to use a piece of, like, gauze, um, which she wrapped around the pull cord, then attached to my bed. So that was interesting. Uh, if it wasn't for the nursing staff, that would have been just really terrible experience but nursing staff they're awesome so yeah Penn Presbyterian not the greatest place to stay um, especially since they charge for TV that still just blows my mind I don't understand it and then uh, you know they kept me there for a few days got to go home uh, you know I have amazing workers comp they hired home health care uh, for six hours a day which those people also not not a good experience um you know they just sat on 
my couch and played on their phone the whole time. Um, yeah, it was like pulling teeth to try to get them to do anything. So I got workers comp to uh, stop that service. <laughs> yeah, and two, just quick two experiences. So one, this one of the girls, she went in my bathroom and she was in there for seemed like abnormally long time. And she comes out and this is like right before she was going to go uh, for the day. And then later on, I go in the bathroom and I just feel stuff all on my feet. And here, her hair it was all on my bathroom floor. Nasty. Nasty. Like, what were you doing in there? Why? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, so I had to clean that up, which was disgusting. And, and then the other lady, <laughs> you know, I've asked her to do a couple things, and she um, just kind of didn't do it. <laughs> and then it, my trash was overflowing and she kept trying to put stuff in my trash and it was overflowing. So finally, I, you know, I was seeing her doing this and I just went there and pulled out the trash bag, took it to my refrigerator, quickly threw a couple things in there, took it to my bathroom. And, you know, I need to say like, I'm one legged, um, with a big knee immobilizer on my stump. So like, it's not easy for me to move around. And, you know, I was one of the reasons why they're here is because I'm supposed to not move and keep my stump elevated. And so I hobble it to the bathroom, quickly throw that in there, tie it, and I hobble back to the kitchen and pull out a garbage bag. And as I'm about to put it in the garbage can, she grabs the thing. She's like, oh, I'll do that. <laughs> and it's like, really? After everything I just did, now you're offering? You're going to get off your phone for two seconds to put a bag back in? Oh, it was, it was terrible. Um, yeah, so that, that didn't go well. Um, but yeah, so I'm in a knee immobilizer. Just quickly zoom out a little bit here. So I have this thing on my stump, so I can't move it. Uh, so I go in tomorrow. Um, it'll be the first time that's been, you know, unwrapped. I'm hoping that they'll remove the stitches and they'll say that I can be a little bit more mobile where I don't have to keep it elevated all the time. Uh, I think I do need to get some kind of uh, protective cover once I can take this knee immobilizer thing off. Uh, just because they did that hurdle and that bone needs time to like fuse to the other bones uh, and I don't want to disturb that so I need to get like a protective cover for my stump uh, and then you know I'm hoping I can kind of get out more because I've been basically living on this couch for the last two weeks well now week and a half minus the hospital stay uh, it hasn't been the most enjoyable thing and it's nice out here in Philly I really want to get out um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, just a little bit of what I'd like to do once they tell me I can is I'm really hoping to like get a GoPro or something mounted to my wheelchair and, uh, take the train up to New York and just kind of record what it's like to try to get from Philly to New York, um, you know, when you're in a wheelchair and, uh, kind of test my endurance, see how much I can actually wheel around New York. I should probably bring someone with me just in case so they can help push. Uh, that might be a good idea. But yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, and as I kind of get off these painkillers where I'm not so, um, you know, I'll try to make more videos too. Uh, but I need to get out more because me just laying on the couch probably isn't that exciting. Uh, so I'd like to, you know, give updates of me, you know, going to the, re you know, me going places as I'm recovering. But yeah, so hopefully, uh, you know, I'll be able to make a few more videos and uh, get some more interesting content of not just me talking. Uh, but if you want to, uh, you know, follow along, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like it, like, you know, hit the like button. Uh, feel free to uh, leave any kind of comments, suggestions, anything. I'm very new at this, you know, never really made videos, so I've never really done video editing, I'm a biochemist, so this isn't kind of what I do, but I'm learning, uh, so if you have suggestions of how I can make these things better, uh, if you have questions, anything that you want me to include in the next video, uh, you know, feel free to uh, leave a comment.